No, I am not a furry. I just really, really like Zootopia. Zootopia is my favorite film of all time. I just really, really like it, and I have liked it ever since the day that it came out when I first saw it. Apparently, a lot of other people like it too, because Zootopia 2 is finally coming out. It releases a little over a year from now, and my goal is to own 100 copies of the first film before its sequel releases. Look, there's a guy out there trying to collect a million copies of Titanic on VHS. If he can do that, I think I should be allowed to do this. And uh, by the way, I am accepting donations. I'm up to about 50 copies of the film already and 78 playable discs in total. I have over a dozen variants of the film and one of the more interesting copies that I have is this. What is this? Well, this is a screener DVD of Zootopia. What is a screener DVD? Well, up until recently, basically before the pandemic changed things, um, when studios tried to push their films to be nominated for awards at award ceremonies like the Oscars or the Golden Globes or something like that, they sent copies of their film on DVD to all the members of the branches that they wanted for the film to be nominated in. These campaigns are called For Your Consideration, and that is where this DVD comes from. You can see here on the back all of the awards that Disney submitted Zootopia for, basically every single category that the film was eligible for. Ultimately, it only received one nomination for Best Animated Film, and it won. This is what the inside looks like, so it's basically the same as the outside, all the categories up there. This is what the actual DVD looks like. I'm going to hold it here on screen for a little while so you guys can get a good look at it. These screener DVDs were sent to Academy members for free. The understanding is that the purpose of this copy of the film is simply to view the film to decide if it is worthy to be nominated in certain categories for the awards. You can see the fine print there on the bottom that basically makes it very, very clear that this is only for people to have and to not redistribute in any way. They couldn't even give this away to family or friends as gifts. That being said, after the ceremony was over, the members were basically free to do whatever they wanted with these DVDs. Uh, and since the members of the Academy receive quite literally hundreds of DVDs for movies every single year, uh, they end up getting rid of most of them instead of keeping them. You can easily find screener DVDs and even VHS tapes from even earlier all over eBay for all kinds of films. And Zootopia ones are not uncommon. There's always at least a few of them on eBay. So this isn't necessarily a rare thing, but it is interesting. It's impossible to know which Academy member owned this particular copy of the DVD that I have. Uh, who knows, maybe it was even Steven Spielberg, but more likely it was probably some random guy in cinematography or something like that. So that's the overview of what the DVD is. Let me go ahead and show you what the movie looks like when we plop it in a player. So I just plopped the disc in my PlayStation 4, which I'm able to record off of even with HDCP protection. It, it just shows up as a normal DVD, nothing interesting. So if we hop into that, nothing special. Signal drop though, that those are always fun. There we go. That text that came before this went by really fast. I'm gonna put a screenshot here right now of what it said. And if you wanna go through and read it, then pause the video and feel free. And now we're on this screen here. This is very interesting because this makes it absolutely clear there is a unique watermark on this and it is traceable. So basically every single copy of the DVD has a different watermark on it that plays at different times in the film in different places on the picture. So if this video were to ever leak on the internet, especially before it released on home video, then Disney would know who to go and uh, prosecute. Again, we're so many years later from now, this is more of a collector's item. I'm not going to get in trouble for this. Whoever used to own this copy isn't going to get in trouble for it. So let's go ahead and I'll just accept. That being said, if uh, Disney could just, you know, shoot me an email and say, hey, Skull, this is the person who it used to be. Thanks for your curiosity. Then that'd be cool. <laughs> So after all the duplication warnings, we finally get to this title screen. And uh, it is worth noting that I have turned off the music to make this a lot harder to get a copyright flag. 
Um, that being said, I've already played this myself a few times and there is no music whatsoever on any of these. The only sound at all on this disc is with the movie itself. And as you can see, we're on the uh, title screen right here and all we have is a black background. Our only options are to either play the film or play the film with subtitles. And I'm gonna go ahead and play the film and it just starts right up. It does play in English. I don't know if there were Spanish copies of this film that were given out to Spanish members or not. I, I don't have information on that. So I've skipped ahead in the film to the point where we finally see a watermark. Property of Walt Disney Animation Studios do not duplicate. So this watermark appears at random points in the film at different points of the screen to um, identify the copy of the film. And that's all that I'm going to do right there. So. Um, so I don't get a copyright, but yeah, so that's how you're able to identify that it's a screener film aside from everything else that identifies it as a screener film, I guess. Other than that, the film is basically the same as it would be on any other DVD. In fact, like everything is identical. Even the credits are identical. So all it is, is the film on a otherwise normal DVD just sent to Academy members for them to, um, give it a watch and decide if it was worth nominating for an award or one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Disney really tried to push for this film to be nominated in 12 awards. Wow. That is a uh, optimistic. <laughs> So that was my Zootopia screener DVD. I hope you guys found this interesting because I sure find this stuff interesting. And if you guys want to know more about all the different variants that Zootopia got on its home video releases, I am planning on making a brand new YouTube channel dedicated entirely to showing off all those variants. So stay tuned for that. There's probably going to be a few more Zootopia videos in the future of this channel as well. I just really like Zootopia, okay? And I feel like there's still a ton to talk about. But for now, that does it for this video. Thanks everyone for watching and stay tuned for more.